My dearest Light family, as you know, we have a free Solstice event that's coming up, and I wanted to just invite you. It would be such a joy if we could spend that together. Let me tell you just a little bit about what is happening. First of all, the photography that we feature in the background as a slideshow during the presentation had very specific instructions and this is the first time that has happened. My photos that are in the background were specifically chosen and created into a slideshow because they indicate the small things. They capture the minutia. This is part of an initiative that I've seen develop over the last few months in which we have learned and which we should learn to honor humanity. During these months, many times little things have indicated that we should give them honor and respect for the gift that they bring into the tapestry of life. Humanity, in their contracted vision, bring the gift of studying the details, the little things. The gods and goddesses among them study the large picture. That is most certainly what we've been doing. But within each is the other. In the heart of a single rose, traveling through that, you enter the cosmos. The little things indicate the big picture and they are also gateways to the large expanses of eternity. So you will find the background images, the photography, all of the little things. A little ladybug on the leaf of a flower. This is the gift of humanity and we carry it within us. As for the music that we'll be playing, you will find that unlike usual presentations, it is the dominant part of the audio. The codes of the unfathomable that I am reading is more subtly in the background. And again, there is a very specific reason for it. Beloved one, the codes of the unfathomable in their entirety that we will be reading, and I have never read it before anywhere as a whole, is designed very specifically to awaken in the DNA a brand new way of being. I have spoken about this before and said that we are getting ready for a really large shift in the paradigm and the blueprint of living, culminating possibly the end of July. But the matrix that we have been living, that is in ourselves like a song, is one of the contracted egoic self. This matrix dissolves and gives way to another matrix, because without a matrix there is no individuation, except this one is the large self, not the contracted, small pinpoint of existence of the egoic self. Everything that we can see hear, touch, smell, everything that we can experience is as much ourselves as our inner space is. We freely acknowledge that our inner space is uniquely ours, and to put it a different way, is very much us. Well, 
You cannot value one opposite over the other. External space is exactly the same thing. It is as much us as the inner space is. And so, we are going from an egoic, contracted matrix to the matrix of the large self. We have intellectually grasped to a small extent that we are what we experience, we are everything that we can experience. But this will create a deeper understanding that truly the tree that we see is as much a part of us as the bronchial tubes that look like little trees actually in our lungs. It is us. To fully grasp this, the matrix in our cells need to change from the minutia to the large picture. And the codes of the unfathomable are designed to make that change at the DNA level. Now, it feels as if one is disintegrating when that happens. And it isn't a very soothing feeling. It isn't a very comforting feeling. But it is nevertheless the step to the greater self. So the old matrix disintegrating with the reading of these codes could bring feelings of discomfort. That is why we have created the music, which is sweeping and large. We have created this music specifically to be the dominant part of the listening experience, so that the codes can work, but at a more subtle level, not to make you too uncomfortable as one dissolves and the other one forms. The music that you will be hearing includes the piece that we call the resolution piece. I created music for all of the meridians that the Chinese have held the copyright for, but they stirred up so much inner dust, so to speak, as they clarified and purified the meridians that it was necessary to create a peace that would bring comfort and a feeling of completion. That piece is called the resolution piece. And we use it in the back in the music, which is not the background, but the foreground music. We use the resolution piece quite a bit in the musical presentation, specifically to bring comfort to the experience of dissolving your cellular matrix in favor of a larger one. It would be like living in a box and suddenly finding that the walls of the box are just disintegrating. So the other music that will be played is the Lemurian Symphony and the Atlantean Symphony and there might well be some other music as well, but they are large pieces of music because the largeness of yourself replaces the minutia and the minute small things are visible visually, but the large big picture is being um, articulated by the music. And so, as one matrix yields to the other, this is what comforts both in this transition. So, beloved ones, we will eventually know and experience that we cannot have one matrix as opposed to another, because that again forms opposites, that they have to have an integrated awareness of the large and the small. But the time is not yet. The pendulum swings both ways before it stops in the middle. So this is our next step. I hope that you can join me. This will be on the solstice. 
and hope that you can feel how much love and respect and gratitude and praise I have for you. Thank you, my beloved ones.